Hack, College Algebra Math 103, College and High School at Big Laville High School. In this class, we study fundamental algebraic operations, exponents and radicals, systems of equations, higher degree equations, logarithms, matrices, and inequalities. The prerequisite for this class is placement testing through the College Testing and Placement Program at Hack. This course requires ownership of a graphing calculator. If there are students in need of accommodations, please contact Peggy Violet, the Coordinator of Disability Services at Old Harrisburg Road. There's her phone number and her email if you should need that. Let's take a look at a Hack 103 sample syllabus. Okay. The course description is the same as I described. The learning outcomes for this course. Upon successful completion of the course, the student will be able to analyze quantitative data to solve problems, solve equations and inequalities and application problems, graph and identify characteristics of algebraic and transcendental functions, perform function operations, and solve systems of equations using matrices. The textbook and supplies are listed here. That is the textbook that they will have. And of course, the supply is that they must own a graphing calculator. We recommend a TI-84. The attendance policy is as stated here. Students are expected to be present in class every day. Do not arrive late or leave early. This includes such things as appointments outside or inside of the school building, staying late to finish tests, trips to the tech office, or stopping by the learning commons. An absence will be considered excused only if it is beyond the student's control and can be documented by a professional or third-party personnel. Examples of third-party people would be a doctor or an obituary or from a paper or automotive repair slip. Students are permitted five excused absences. Each excused absence after the fifth will reduce your overall grade in this course by 10% per absence. You are responsible to learn the material on the days you miss class. Students must notify me as soon as possible of an excused absence, preferably before the absence, and must provide documentation at the next class period, otherwise the absence becomes an unexcused absence. An excused absence may never occur on the day of a test, quiz, or final exam. Missing a class on a test, quiz, or final exam day results in a zero for the test, quiz, or final exam. Then students have three school days to make up a test or a quiz. There is not a makeup time for the final exam. All other absences are considered unexcused, excluding school sponsored trips. All students will be permitted one unexcused absence for emergency purposes. Each unexcused absence may reduce your overall grade in this course by 10% per absence. Grading. This is tentative and subject to change. Four tests, each worth 100 points. Eight quizzes, each worth 25 points. Four homework assignments on my math lab, each worth 50 points. And the final exam is cum cumulative and worth 200 points. So an A would be 900 points to 1,000 points. A B would be 800 to 899 points. A C would be 700 to 799 points. A D would be 600 to 699 points. And an F would be anything less than that. No homework in my math lab will be accepted late, even if you have an excused absence. Missing class on a test quiz final exam day, even with an excused absence, will result, a zero, will result in a zero for that test or quiz until the student makes up the quiz or test within the allotted time, which is no longer than three school days from the date of the test or the quiz. There is no makeup time for the final exam. All students take the final exam on the same day at the same time. Final exam will be given to everyone within one two-hour block of time during finals week. All test quizzes and final exam will be completed within the allotted time period. Academic integrity. Students at Harrisburg Area Community College are expected to follow a strict code of academic integrity. Cheating of any kind will not be tolerated. Violations of, ac of the academic integrity code are like giving answers or using unapproved devices on graded assignments, tests, quizzes, or final exams. Um, 
are academically dishonest and the student risks a zero for his or her assignment exam or failing the course entirely. Other offenses against the code of academic integrity are plagiarism, falsifying records, or knowingly assisting someone who engages in any action against the code of academic integrity. Violations mentioned above will be reported to the campus academic team. The first offense usually results in a zero for the assignment or quiz, and the second offense results in failing the course, unless the offense involves a test, the final exam, or falsifying records, which immediately results in failing the course. Expectations. This is a college class. It would be a disservice to Harrisburg Area Community College if Mrs. Fritz's class was not conducted under the same guidelines as those used on the college level. When HACC issues college credits to any student, the credits represent the way the student performed in a class using college standards, not those typically used at the high school level. Students are expected to perform as college students. Not doing so would mislead the students about the rigor involved at the college level. Students must perceive the differences between college and high school expectations before enrolling at an institution of higher learning to pursue a planned program of study. Students cannot be given the impression that college courses are no harder than the advanced high school courses. Be present every day from the beginning of class to the end of class. More expectations. No food or drink. I should not see a cell phone ever. That being said, if there is an emergency that you need to be in contact with the outside world via cell phone for some reason, please talk to me before class so we can make arrangements for your cell phone to be out and on silent. However, this will not become a habit. Be prepared for class, ask questions in class, be patient, understanding, and helpful to others in class. Be attentive. All tests and quizzes and final exams will be completed within the allotted time period. Generally, my expectations are clear, but if there is a need, we will have a discussion after class during my office hours or when needed. After that discussion, if there is any improvement, I may suggest that you withdraw from the class. Communication. Please email me using my hack email or my upperadams.org email. I check Upper Adams email daily. I do not check my hack email daily. So please use the Upper Adams email. It's easier. Please do not call my classroom phone. The voicemail system is not reliable. Withdrawals are incomplete are things we can discuss personally. Again, the accommodations, if that's necessary, um, you'll need to go through Peggy Violet the coordinator of disability services. And then the rest of my um, syllabus would be listing the days and the topics that would be covered and when assignments would be due.